Hi kids, welcome to Terry on Tuesday. Coming to you from Monday morning. And uh, as you can see, Marvin is still with me, despite being sold. But this week is the final week that I have with him before he goes. Sorry, Marvin. Uh, you'll be less depressed in your new home. Uh, I will tell you about the new home as soon as I'm allowed to. I want to give the, the buyers chance to uh, announce it themselves if they want to. Or just give me permission to talk about it. Uh, but this week, uh, I am basically getting Marvin all uh, photographed. I'll take some measurements of all the parts for other people, especially on my uh, private Marvin Facebook page, where a lot of people are thinking about building their own Marvins. Um, so they've asked for some dimensions and stuff, so I'm going to do that. And um, wrapping him up for the final trek uh, out of Wales. That's all I can say. Anyway, um, weirdly enough, this being the last week, uh, I, I don't even know when he's being picked up, next couple of days, um, I've just done some more work on him. Uh, I've, I've repaired the damage that you remember from last week where I, uh, the skirt was mashed up. I've, uh, I've repaired that damage as best I can. It's reasonably good. It's a lot stronger than it used to be with fiberglass. Um, but I did some extra work on him. So, let us whiz to the garden and show you, not whiz in the garden, whiz to the garden and show you uh, what I've just done. Okay, so as you can see, I'm out on the steps here and I've got the thigh pieces masked off with some blue paper and some masking tape. And I'm basically painting the top three segments of the front of both thighs black. Because, as some of the more eagle-eyed viewers of you will know, Marvin does have uh, black sections from the top three uh, parts of his thighs. You don't see them all. Uh, in the TV show, the skirt covers the top one, but you can still see occasionally the two top black ones. And I think the reason for this is that the silver would scratch against the skirt. So they've, you know, much like uh, on the rest of Marvin, they've put rubber matting to avoid scratching and stuff. Uh, they've painted the top bits black because it's easier to touch up if they get scratched through to the silver, etc. Rather than trying to touch up silver paint, which looks a bit blobby. Uh, so I thought I really don't want to let him go without having that final bit done. Uh, just so, you know, Mr. Pedantic doesn't come along to the museum and go, I think you'll find amongst all the inaccuracies of Marvin, you've forgotten to paint the top bits black. Well, now I have, Mr. Pedantic, so be off with you. Anyway, uh, it's a weird, weird feeling. Uh, as I said last week, uh, I have this weird uh, thing that I've found through life that I get excited about stuff, I want stuff, uh, I either buy it or get it or make it or whatever, and not long after obtaining said wanted item, I go, don't want it now. Uh, and it's not that I don't want Marvin, even now I'm noticing things that could have been a bit better. Um, even, that, even though I, it's not that I don't want Marvin, I would like to have had him on display, like I said last week, up in the corner, possibly, for a, for a while. The good news is I got more than I expected for it. Um, I got a good price for him. He's going to a good place, which we'll tell you about maybe next week. And um, it means my film, which is my main focus, my priority this year and next year, uh, is, uh, you know, has gone up in budget. So, uh, you know, we've raised a bit more money. Also raising money, uh, quickly skip to some weird old footage here. Uh, I spent the weekend uh, on Saturday in Taunton uh, for an event called Invasion 3 Taunton, which always takes place in Taunton Central Library. Uh, been a long time since I've been in Taunton, been about uh, three or four years. Last time I was in Taunton, I bought an electric wheelchair. Um, for my Dalek project, which is something else that I really wanted and sold straight away. Uh, maybe I'll get a Dalek in the future, who knows. So yeah, we spent all day, me and Sean and Justin from Candy Jar, uh, doing a prize draw. We had 60 prizes, and I think I came home with two of them. So we raised some decent money for the film there, and it paid for our petrol, uh, which was cool. So many thanks to the uh, generous uh, people of Taunton for uh, donating to the film. Um, a lot of people came, kept coming back for more goes on the prize draw and to talk to me more about the film. Uh, it's a shame I couldn't get any of the cast there, but it was a bit sort of 
last moment thingy. Um, but, you know, we were there till three o'clock. Uh, nice to see some of the members of the UK garrison who I haven't seen for a while, uh, all in their Star Wars regalia, including um, Daleks from, uh, well, a Dalek from the Daleks of Somerset. That was Supreme Dalek Bowen, who looks like this. And um, it was good to see them. And also then on Sunday, uh, at another last minute kind of thing, I was offered a lift down to Stars of Time in Western Supermare, which I've done before with Dalek Decimus, who looks like this. And um, this time I was just going down as a punter. So I thought, because I was getting a lift down with a friend of mine who was wearing uh, the Book of Boba Fett suit that he was wearing, I thought I'll do some really cheap cosplay and I put on a suit and my Doomlord mask. And it was great because I was wandering around and nobody knew who I was supposed to be. There was one photographer who came up to me and said, I recognize the mask, but I can't think where you're from. So that was close. Um, a Doctor Strange cosplayer came up to me and asked me if I was a Skrull. And thinking about it, looks very similar. Not as green, but, you know, very same ears, that kind of thing. But yeah, uh, it was a good day. Uh, wandered around, uh, didn't buy anything. Uh, bumped into my friend Richard, who was doing Jack Sparrow, and won the cosplay competition. So good on you, Richard. I'll be back next year. <laughs> to to win as Jack Sparrow again. They won't give me the prize. They'll be like, we can't give a Jack Sparrow every year a prize. Anyway, uh, that was fun. So a couple of uh, hours there. And now here we are on Monday morning. My entire house smells of spray paint again. Uh, that's not going to happen for a while, actually. But out in the kitchen is the uh, the thigh pieces currently drying off, etc. Uh, I would leave them outside, but there's a chance of rain. But yes, it's a case of getting Marvin all measured up, photographed and packed into his case, ready for pickup sometime this week. Uh, what's happening with the film? Well, as I say, we've had a, a decent um, uh, increase in the budget um, because of Taunton and because of the sale of Marvin. Uh, so it's gone up a bit more. Um, which is good because we're, we're creeping up to the, the £10,000. We're not, we're not there yet. We've still got a, way, a ways to go, as they say in America. We've got a ways to go. Um, but we're going to, uh, you know, hopefully do a crowdfunder next year. Get, get Crimbo out the way and see how things lie. Uh, do a crowdfunder and see if we can uh, tempt a few random people on internet land to take an interest in the film. And see if we can get up to... 10 and possibly more, you know, I, pr I prefer to get more than the off-world budget because uh, Bloody Students is a slightly more ambitious film involving indoor sets, outdoor locations, um, costume, a lot more costumes and, and that kind of stuff and special effects, etc. And again, like I said, I've always said, I want to pay my actors this time. Um, I'm not paying myself, as usual. Uh, I, get the, I get the fun of having my name under the director's... Uh, credit and uh, having the film at the end of the day to do what I want with. You know, that's that's my reward of actually making a film that I'm happy with, he says. So um, that's it for me for this week. Uh, again, where are we on the timer? Oh, ooh, we're doing quite good, about 10 minutes. I'm going to leave it here. Uh, if, as usual, if you've got any comments, questions and suggestions, leave them down below. Do the likey, subscribey over here. Or maybe it's over here. I can never tell. And uh, I will see you next week. Take care now. Bye-bye.